I strongly feel, and some people are against um, the the scenario or the the statement. Mm-hmm. I feel um, UK mm-hmm. is was kind of like the birth mm-hmm. of Afrobeats. Hundred percent, I believe that too. You understand? I, I know certain people will be like, "Oh no, 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 no." <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Silver. How is Ghana treating you so far? Uh, it's good, man. Ghana, yeah. Ghana is always a blessing, you know, to come home and and feel the energy and you That's know right. just be where where your origins are from, you know. That's it's right. Like, it's yeah. nice to catch that vibe. You see. Okay. Yeah. I see you shutting the place down for um, half Africa. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Trust yeah. me. Trust me. And you know what? When I'm when I see you on, on that platform, man, it just takes me back to the you know the start. Yeah, man. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah, where. Where it all kicked off from, man. Trust me. You know, um, before this, um, the Afrobeat thing came up to or came into existence, especially in the UK. Mm-hmm. I remember you on the Funky House tip. You yeah, understand? Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, man. that's 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 the roots. That's man. definitely the roots, man. Part of my, of my roots, part of uh, my artistry. So, yeah, I can't forget the roots, man. It's 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 my foundation, you know. Of course. Yeah, of man. course. So. Playing the beats, literally, and emceeing over the beats, literally. Yeah, it's, 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 it's what put me out there. That's right. You that's know what right. I mean? It's yeah. what gave me a name. That's right. And you know, it put me on a on a on a stepping stone to continue to move forward. That's right. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, how did the transition come about? Um, because as you started from um the funky house tip, yeah. and the and you moved over to the um, Afro beats when that also came up. Yeah. So how 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 did the transition come up? Um, I think obviously. Generally, just obviously being around that funky house circuit and then also having African heritage or Ghanaian heritage. Yeah. Um, I think in our culture, we have like our own little things that we do as well, like yeah. our events and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. So naturally, I was around the African sound anyway. Yeah. And I feel like some of the funky house had like a tribal feel. Yeah. Yeah. Which has a lot of African elements That's towards right. it. So I felt like, um, yeah, they're very close related, something like a cousins or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And a lot of us Africans who were like going uni and so mm-hmm. on and so forth, we used to rave to the funky house. Definitely. And then straight after the funky house, there would be Afro beats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously being culturally inclined and having that culture about myself, mm-hmm. naturally after hosting a funky house set, the DJs that would play Afro beats would request me to to yeah. host up their oh, yeah, Afro yeah, beat sets yeah. as well, innit? Because yeah. I had that culturalism about my style and everything. Mm-hmm. So yeah, naturally it kind of started in that way. Um, and some of my lyrics as well in Funky were had some like Ghanaian words entwined yep. as well. So that kind of was Marian as well. Uh, mm-hmm. And people just loving the vibes I was doing on the whole Afrobeats hosting thing. So as time was going, I was developing my artistry, obviously from MCing. I would go studio, start making songs. As I was making songs, uh, there was a suggestion like, ah. Oh, like you should do Afro beats as well. Okay. Try some Afro beat vibes as well, yeah. innit? And see yeah. and see where it goes, you know what I mean? So we started like spitting over the Afro beats Afro as well. Beats, okay, yeah. So when I started so kinda of, kinda of like doing like a cover version. Yeah, cover versions. Yeah, for yeah, instance, yeah, like yeah. the the first breakthrough kind of Afro beats record which I did was a cover version of Five Five Move Back yeah, 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 which is at a tempo yeah. probably like one two seven, one thirty yeah, yeah. BPM. Yeah. So, which is very similar to the Funky House era. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. It, it just married. So, yeah, I yeah, could yeah, just yeah, easily yeah, jump yeah. into that. and it worked hand in hand. Hand in hand, perfectly. Yeah, so, um, yeah. yeah, just built off that. Built a couple of tunes around those tempos. And then, as I was going and developing, like, just experimenting different, different. tempos as well, different That's sounds. Right. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. It just generally just came to me in that way. And it was like, it was, it was, it, it was that timing. And mm-hmm. everybody was like, okay, yeah, this is. This what's representing it. the man yep. them this yep. is what's representing the culture right now in UK like everybody now won't be African everybody won't say yo we they represent now like you yeah. get me more than ever before not of to say course. we wasn't representing then but it's just more than ever before the generation was lifted you know what I mean yeah. through the sound so yeah I was able to just drop that track with a couple of the man them as well yep. 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 and when we dropped it it was just like boom what's this it was like yeah. a fresh Bit of energy into yeah. the scene. Bon like, mami. Yeah, bon mami. Hard. Trust me, trust me. So it, w- it was fresh energy for the scene, man. It was fresh and it was, I think it was nice to see mm-hmm. London born Ghanaians. Yeah. Like embracing actually, the yeah, culture. Actually being proud of. Yeah, man. 
what they're representing, actually being proud and not afraid of where they come from. You feel me? Yeah, you, you know, feel me? You know that stigma, especially in the UK, of being African and, you know, every time you go, it wasn't um, so cool to be African. Yeah, you, but, you get it. Um, I always um, feel that the Afrobeats the, or the music was like a a breakage, man. It, it, it kind of yeah, destroyed that barrier. It, it very yeah, much did. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. To open those doors, you know. I think I think that whole Afro thing really bust the doors creatively Absolutely. in London full stop. Yes. Like it, it used to be so like constructed, oh, it has to be like this. Yeah. You have to try and make it poppy. Yeah. You have to try and do this and yeah. do this before yeah. we go let you enter. Yeah. But that thing came and then it was like, okay, everything down. my son, stop what you're talking. This thing now, the new generation is not hearing that. We want to come true and do what we believe we feel. And that's what kind of opened to see what we have today. As in like London people, plenty London acts are now yep. doing Afrobeat tracks, yep. 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 Afro influenced music. Mm -hmm. It's even the way forward. Yep. December, you come, you find all the stars are mm -hmm. down here. You get me? So it's like, it was nice. It was like, yeah. a, it was a door opening for everybody. You know what I mean? You know, um, this is one of the main reasons why I said I wanted to have a conversation with you because um, mm. I strongly feel, and some people are against um, the, the scenario or the, the statement. Mm -hmm. I feel um, UK mm -hmm. is was kind of like the birth mm -hmm. of Afrobeats. 100%. I believe that too. You understand? I, I know certain people will be like, oh, no, 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 no. The thing is, um, uh, I had a conversation yesterday with um, Bisa. Yeah. And he's also a foundation when it comes to the Afrobeats. Yeah, 100%. Thing. But um, what in our eyes in the UK, mm -hmm. Afrobeats was a collection of African sounds. Yes, 100%. I know that people were saying Afrobeat was there by Phila mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the Afrobeat he was doing it's not the, wasn't we, what we we were, we, we, we were playing in yeah, the UK. 100%. And you, know, you can always hear the difference when they say he done Afro beats and there's Afro beats. Yeah, 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 yeah. But to my knowledge, mm -hmm. when we were st when we were kicking it mm -hmm. and playing your stuff mm -hmm, mm -hmm. back to back, mm -hmm. you know, for music from Ghana, Nigeria, Cote d'Ivoire, mm -hmm, all mm -hmm. these places, Everybody yeah, mashed in one. You understand? Mm -hmm. Mashed in one. Mm -hmm, it was mm -hmm. a back to back set. Yeah, and, and and it was lively and it was good. You understand? And I, I think your statement's right in the fact that UK. Mm -hmm definitely gave that fire like it gave absolutely that, that yeah understand. Everybody the combination say, okay, of african 100%. tracks back to back in one in one venue because i remember there was times you could even go to uh, this this is the early i mean like okay let's say middle to like um late 90s mm -hmm. You go to like something like ghana independence or yeah. you go to miss ghana and you won't even hear any type of African songs, it's true. yeah, it's bad true. dance or yeah, R and B, yeah. hip hop. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. Maybe the closest you might hear to Afrobeat or an African song was maybe like um, uh, Premier Gaou. Premier, even that time, that mm -hmm. time, even that time, still. Was, that time wasn't even out. Premier, okay, yeah, okay. the, yeah, the um, late nineties yeah, Premier yeah. Gaou wasn't really out. Yeah, yeah, but they would even play like Mama Africa, and Mama Africa was by Garnet Silk, and he's Jamaican. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. or maybe um, you're my sweetie, no, I get my sweet, yeah. So okay. definitely, um, round of applause going out to you, man, there, that, you know, set the foundation, yeah, you understand, and decided that, you know, this is something I want to do, mm -hmm. and this is something I'm going to push. No, yeah, so up. definitely. Up. You're also part of it, though, as well. Yeah. I, I can't just say, because you lot inspired us. Yeah, I get Because we'll yeah. come to the party, it's you, man, be playing. Definitely. And yeah. that's given us more of him to say, yo, Charlie, yeah. the culture's lit. Of the course. olders are doing it. Yeah. The orders are pushing it, and yeah. the card is swaggy. It's yeah. nice, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, so it yeah, gave us yeah. more confidence to of grow. Course, as well. More vim, so more vim. Every, I think everybody had a, 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 a seed yes. which they planted. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, absolutely, so, absolutely. You know, because I remember you when you mentioned um, the university, and um, you know, universities in UK mm -hmm. also played a major role. Hundred percent of and the impact. Hundred percent of Afro. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. You know why I feel that is? Because mm -hmm. it's like. Majority of the young Africans, mm -hmm. we went to uni. Yes, so true. So we all ended up meeting up in one place. So yeah. Manchester, whether mm -hmm. it be Leicester, London, mm -hmm. Kingston. Yeah. Like, it's many Africans. Whether yeah. it be Nigerian, Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. Ghanaian, you're all in one place. All in one place. So it's like, we just came together. Yeah, the and, then, and you know, usually they events. have the, the, was it the ACS? Yeah, ACS parties, yeah, um, Afro Cup, Caribbean uh, Society. And th those things were this, yeah. Uni uh, events. Uh, and then it was like, everybody came together. Then you go back to your ends. Yep. Yep. And you split up again, so it's like you, it's like you come together, spread the tin. Yeah. Then one will go back to his ends, another one will go back to his ends. He will spread it in his ends, and it's just 
growing and growing you know what i mean so it it, it, it yeah, was it, such it was such a really interesting time because mm-hmm. um when I started playing uni um, university events, mm-hmm. I started when Afrobeats wasn't about. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it was as I said before, it was at stri- strictly R and B, hip hop, mm-hmm. dancehall. Mm-hmm. Yeah, play some Miami bass, soca music. Yeah, old school club classics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then slowly, gradually, gradually, when the hip life and high life came in, and then we started playing them back to back, putting those songs on mixtapes. Mm-hmm. I remember a friend of mine, Edwin, he used to have an event in Coventry called mm. How We Living. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that one. And it's like, the, these were the kind of events that we were trying. We did, you know, it's not like it was official that, yeah, but we're just trying to think like, okay, let's try this. Yeah, and yeah, see. see how they go. And yeah. then we tried it and it was it like... It went off. It went off. <laughs> I mean, you know, an, an audience of about 600, 700 yeah, people. Yeah, those yeah. days were lit, man. Organic yeah. vibes, man. Organic, organic. organic still. Yeah. Very organic, very natural. Like, all that experience is so natural and mm. very pure. That like, Just yeah, good yeah. music and yeah, yeah, good yeah, vibes yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and yeah. good selection and good DJs. And, like, of course. It was just, yeah. the, I think, one of the purest times in music, man. Absolutely. Definitely. So, um, tell me about it. So, you started, um, especially with... Um, um, we have um, Gizmo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Scorms, yeah, yeah. Um, Qualms and Flavor, yeah, yeah. yeah. and even um, A-Star. Yeah, A-Star as well. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So I remember those times, a lot of you were doing more covers. Yeah, 100%. You started with covers. Even when, started, when we went to Germany. And yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we done that video as well. Yeah, yeah. That so we were doing more covers. Well. And then it seems like you guys so got more serious about it and you decided to even actually release your own yeah, material yeah, yeah. yeah i think i think that after doing the covers yep. and people started liking it mm-hmm. it was kind of like a test the waters thing of course and we realized that this is actually the thing because yep. we were getting calls to big radio yeah yep. getting calls up to go to shows and mm-hmm. it was doing more than what the funky house was doing of for me of course yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah i mean yeah, not yeah. to say i weren't getting bookings i was doing things there but i felt yeah. like there was a ceiling yeah and some had already like come and done mm-hmm. their things so i felt like there was a ceiling but this one was just this, and this this is this is you, you know I mean? this is home you know what i mean there's you no understand? denying it you understand you know what i mean you can you can speak a bit of english in there your own country your your motherland you your understand? mother tongue you can speak you get me, all so. of that in there so yeah it is it is yeah we just took it seriously man yeah I man think, um, so I think that's when the, um, Boom Boom Ta yeah Boom Boom Ta came was the first yeah I came to um, Ghana mm-hmm. um, Mixmaster Ghazi yeah. I met up with him mm-hmm. and we discussed the stuff I bought the beat of him and then I linked up with the man them I booked the whole day in studio I think I recorded my EP the whole day that day first full vim, to, full vim yeah and I called all the boys that I wanted on it to come yeah, down man. those that came came we yeah. made the tracks yeah the track was fire, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And yeah. obviously the, the momentum and everything was... Everything for, was just... It was just yeah, nice yeah. timing and stuff. So dropped the project and yeah, it, it went off. Boom, boom, tower went crazy. Wow. It, just, it, was crazy it was crazy, man. Um, I was playing in the um, British um, High Commission last week. Yeah, yeah. And I remember you done a dub play for me, and I just had to just feature. I just, <laughs> Come on. yeah, man, Come it, just, on. it just brought back so much memories. Yeah, yeah man, trust it me. brought back so much. As, as I trust said, me. that was kind of like the, the the peak of UK Afrobeats. Hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. It was, you 100%. know, it, it, it was so nice. It was so nice. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. So then you um slightly moved from that, and then you started doing your solo projects. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 In a way, um, mm-hmm. initially I've always been solo, but obviously okay. when you collaborate with people and it goes well, they'll assume that maybe you are a group. Yeah. We're all boys. Don't get me wrong, innit? Yeah, yeah. But obviously we all had our own individual things already in mm-hmm. place. You know what I mean? So obviously doing what we had done and obviously putting things on I wanted to try and take a step further I had a vision in my mind yeah. that I want to go further with my career so um, I felt like yeah it was time for me to try and do things also mm-hmm. solo and venture out with other artists yeah. maybe in Ghana etc mm-hmm. etc so I just I embarked on that journey yeah yeah, and, and as you said so I yeah, tell me about a, a few of your singles was it Green Light? yeah Green Light was one yeah. of them mm-hmm. which um, came along by Polydor Records. Okay, okay. So uh, you, you were uh, officially signed to Polydor. Yeah, we had a pr- uh, uh, the oh, thing a is, single deal. Yeah, we had a single deal with options of uh, two more singles and an album. Okay. And okay, we did the first single, but mm-hmm. then it's like I don't know. Like I feel like Polydor wasn't ready okay. at that time. Mm-hmm. There was a dance label, and I feel like there wasn't individuals where are from the culture day inside the label you understand mm-hmm. at that time it was it was it's fresh they yep. didn't know what's going on no and 
it was me and Fuse, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. And Fuse was able to secure like a nice independent label where they go feel understand him. Yeah. Where me too, I went to the major. Okay. So with the major okay. being Polydor, um, yeah, that, that that was the deal. We done the track, and then after the first track, it's like they went, they went, they went blank on me. You understand? Okay. They okay. went to follow up on they the went, record. They went and understanding the vision. They went understanding the vision. I've come, I've recorded bare tracks, linked up mm-hmm. bare producers, everything ready, yeah. set to good to go. Yeah. The thing is high, the momentum, everything they there, but yeah. like they they make slow, like say they don't want to make this African yeah. boy shine come true. Like at this moment, if we let fuse has come, if we yeah. let this another one come, yeah, at that time problem problem. But what they didn't know is that the the, the fountain was still yeah. busting. The fountain people, was still people flowing. Were coming from all they were already avenues. coming with that energy. That was the energy. I was just ahead. Mm-hmm. You get me? I'd seen it already, so I was yeah. already on the on the track. You know what I mean? On the on the on the railway going. But they were slow to realize that, you know what I mean? Um, but I don't know if it's personal, I don't know if it's spiritual, I don't know where it'd be. But personally, like me, it's like I felt like that was it's a good time for them to invest and push this movement that we was doing to a further worldwide movement. Because personally, musically, we got fused, but I think musically, yeah. I'm better than fused. Okay. As a musician, musically, okay. get me. Everyone's got a style and what yeah. they think. Yeah. No yeah. disrespect yeah. to my boy Fuse in it, but yeah. I felt at that time the music yeah. I was making would do definitely. a mad thing yeah, more definitely. than definitely. whatever. Definitely. If Fuse was able to be hitting charts, yeah, with the things yeah. I was doing already, imagine if they say they yeah. go push me into the machine. Because I was, even, uh, to be honest, me. I was I was really surprised when even Fuse came out because um, mm-hmm. I played them a few different um, venues before mm-hmm. before he came up with that that mm-hmm. the track. Um, mm-hmm. Um, the one with um, Tiffany. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, and the, f- the venues I played, he was like a hip-hop, strict, strictly hip-hop yeah, artist. Yeah, yeah, Before yeah, before, yeah, 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 yeah. he wasn't, he wasn't strictly, doing them strictly, since then. Yeah, strictly it's hip-hop, true. yeah. It's true. So, when, when Dazonto came up, mm. and then, and then uh, I see Fuse, I remember that even the, the the video came up and he was in actually he was even in the He, he done some masking yeah, with Alex. Yeah, yeah. Alex, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that kind of went viral, which yeah. gave him the catalyst, yes. the kind of yeah, stepping yeah, further, yeah. which you know, which was was a beneficial to yeah, him. Definitely, and, definitely. And then I feel like he had a good relationship with, with a very good producer, like as in terms of Kill Beats. Yes, you know what I mean, which gave him another boost in terms of yeah, he was able yeah. to get home back in. Yeah, you know, it's key to get home back of in. Course, you of know course. what I mean. So he was able to secure home back in. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. So yeah, it benefited him still. He done his thing and he yeah. contributed as well. You know what I mean. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean. Yeah. So yeah, that uh, like I said on the solo journey. And then after, like I said, the label they're moving slow. Then we had a meeting. They were like, ah, oh, I can go. I'm free to go and and things. They don't want to hold me down, but I'm on person on the call with him. They don't want to go further with the thing, but yeah. they don't say I go do my thing. So. I'm free to go if I want to go in it. So yeah. at that time, it's like okay, cool. I have to keep forcing. I have to keep pushing. Yeah. The same way I pushed myself from nothing to something. Definitely, you can I have to keep do. pushing yeah. myself there mm-hmm. because, it, like, once you reach, they say, once you reach one mountain, mm-hmm. there's another mountain Absolute, to climb. You know absolutely. what I mean? So I climbed that mountain, and yeah. at that mountain, they didn't want to give me the water, so I had to keep climbing keep more mountains. Yeah, you keep know pushing. what I mean? And no along the, yeah, just release a couple more tunes, goes down, drop the yeah, layer of I like EP. goes down. There's something about goes down, man. To be honest, that song is about them. That's yeah. why it probably because it's very it's very yeah, from the there's heart. There's something about that track, man. Goes there's, there's something, something about it. It's, it's from the heart because yeah, I felt man, like something about that track. The man. label had let me down. Mm-hmm. So in the song, I'm telling them, and T and so yeah, I said it goes down. And you get me? So I'm telling them, big like, track, man. yo, tell yeah, you, they yeah. go down. What's yeah. up? And you done the remix with Donay on there, yeah, and yeah. Donay as well yeah, on it yeah. on the remix. So, yeah. the, so that went well as well. And then just been doing my independent thing, like just yeah. pushing myself, mm-hmm. working, getting money, doing what yeah. I can to of keep the, the brand, of course, man. moving forward. Essential. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Um, so coming forward, there's one thing I've realized about you, and I don't know if you've act, you're actually watching or you're 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 kind of looking, and then you don't. I've realized you have some type of fashion sense, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. and I believe that it's something you should kind of incorporate more mm-hmm, in mm-hmm. your artistry. Mm-hmm, you understand? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You have a, a certain kind of style mm-hmm. that I believe, like, you know, um, when it comes to fashion, mm-hmm. some people are born with it, mm-hmm. and some people. Um, have to try and buy it. Mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. understand? Right. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Some people just have to be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go um, West End, this bike, mm, yeah, yeah, this yeah, yeah, machine, yeah, yeah. or this, you yeah, know, yeah. I'm proud of this, too. yeah. But I've seen something about you. 
in the artistry and fashion sense that yeah that you're really good at yeah yeah and the, yeah and uh, I've, I've, I've I've really identified and I feel like it's something that you should you no, know yeah word, yeah word 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 because you know music fashion it, style, it, it, it all comes all in line yeah it all works personally it work, works together you know like rent it's, it's it's down to like I see that I see it don't get me wrong you mm-hmm. know what I mean and I want I want to push it further and do more with it but you know juggling the music and yeah, juggling yeah. everything yeah, it's not easy as a one body yeah. machine yeah, yeah yeah sometimes it's it's, it's hard to mm-hmm do everything you yeah. know what i mean so i try my best to keep the fashion in yeah. there and i know yeah. i can do so much more yeah, and yeah, further yeah. as i go places people are like ah you for go do modeling you for go do this you yeah. for do that obviously i've done some mm-hmm. i've done london fashion week i got my own style where people they feel where they pull my clothes on and they wear me look nice yeah. and thin but you know to go further like i know say in future i won't do things like clothing line and and add it to the tin the, to yeah. the brand and expand it because people like that thing about me so yeah. it's an avenue to to of look course. into yeah, you know what i mean and definitely. bring it in collaboration because i have that kind of eye uh for, for that kind of thing so mm-hmm. yeah man definitely i think the fashion is part of it people like that it's not just music as well yeah you know what i mean sometimes music will draw some mm-hmm. your fashion will draw some yeah your personality will draw some you know what i mean how you move mm-hmm. and do things with people will draw people to you okay you know what i mean so that's yeah. that's what i would say for that man so yeah, let's go back to the um, UK um, UK Afrobeats. You know, so many artists came through. Uh huh. Uh huh. Afrobeat. Yeah, still, man. Yeah. It's funny enough, they all stem off, man. Yeah. They all stem yeah, off, man. Yeah, personally, yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't really like to blow my horn. Okay, I don't like to cause yeah. controversies, but the fact of the matter is that a lot of the artists before they elevated, they came, they passed by me. Okay. Before okay, they elevated, yeah. a lot of them mm-hmm. anyway. The foundation ones, yeah, foundation, the first yeah, yeah, level yeah, of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of them passed by, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I would direct them. Oh, go to King Zion, go to this studio. Yeah. Do this, That's do that. It. My thing was in the in the whole beginning. My whole thing was like to elevate the man. Them. Of course. To elevate to bring something different to the culture in terms of in London because at that point it was okay, gang, gang, bang, bang, mm-hmm. every day. Oh, talk about yeah, I got my strap and da 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 and this and that. But and then again, let's give another option. You know what I mean? Yeah. So my thing was, if I could help to put people on and take them away from the street and take them away from any bad thing, because me coming from a bad road myself and being able to change my life to do music and and do it significantly, I was thinking, okay, I can inspire others and help others. But you know, as things go on, obviously everyone has to do their thing. But you know. People in their mindset, like they don't yes. go see what you they see, of and course. they go do things for of your course. for one back, and then act some way. But so it got to a point mm. there, the, the the UK Afrobeat was uh, flying high. Mm-hmm. Then all of a sudden, I've real uh, I've realized that you're not really hearing anything from the UK, especially yeah. those that set that foundation. Mm-hmm. You understand, and they mm-hmm. um, and it's kind of moved from the UK mm-hmm. and then it's gone back to, okay, like home. Yeah, yeah. Ghana, yeah, yeah. Nigeria. So the, the story is not really talked about. Yeah, yeah. The, they, they, the they, don't, they don't. They, yeah. Funny enough, it's like, like I said, they put, Fuse was the pop star. Yeah. I was the boy from the underground. Mm-hmm. If they put me on, then that put them more platforms for the rest and yeah. then the story will be talked but it's like they didn't want to put man on and they came and put afro bashment okay. and they came and put afro swing yeah. as uk afro beats yeah, yeah. which yeah. kind of shadowed over uk afro beats yeah. yeah, and then yeah. a new set of artists yeah came, came through, through yeah, that yeah, yeah yeah you get me yeah. it's like the the, the gatekeepers realize okay mm-hmm. we need to grab hold of this yeah, thing no and, what, and, yeah. and structure it yeah. so we can make money from it mm-hmm. so they grabbed it put the Afro Bashment and Afro mm-hmm, Swing mm-hmm. in this position and said, okay, these are the boys that have come after these boys. Let's yeah. use these boys yeah. because this is what the generation, this is what they want now. There's nothing mm-hmm. we can do. It's yeah, there yeah, now. Yeah, no matter you what. know what I mean? So we have to use these lot and, and push it up. So that's what's kind of come and then overshadowed what we had put down, like the foundation yeah, and that. Yeah. You get me? Because I just feel like no one really wanted to back us. Like, you yeah. get me? Like no one, everyone just left us to do our thing. Yeah, cause you know what I mean, and no one really came with a backing. Yeah, that the, yeah, that yeah, music, yeah. whatever you do, it needs backing, yeah, isn't it? Definitely, so definitely. Yeah, like they didn't really secure and back us like that, like that. You know what I mean? Like, wow. You know what I mean? The UK, the UK man, the UK Afrobeats. When I just look back to it, and some of the sounds, man, that yeah. came out. 
Yeah. I still generally believe there's there's great sounds still there. Yeah. There's yeah. generally yeah. still great yeah. sounds coming out from there. They had wicked producers like um, exactly. Boats, Boats made it. You understand? Yeah, yeah. These guys, bad boy, like, bad boy man, them should be... It should be on like yeah. they're, they're the fathers, like yeah, yeah, my, yeah. The, them producers there, like yeah, yeah, you man. get it. But it's like rah, they they gave it to guys who have not even really connected to Africa, like yeah. that. they just wanted to use it because it's yeah, cool at that course, time. Of course, and of course. they're not really into the the roots of coming back home and yeah, yeah, and yeah. feeling the thing and kasa at all. You know what I mean? I'm all about then just concept. I'm on bus. I'm very like really, really do something. You know what I mean? Because it's cool now. Until I'm more, but before I'm more, it wasn't. That wasn't coming. You know what I mean? But we were coming from where they from GH Rocks, etc., etc. Like when there was not even any attention. You know what I mean? But man, but yeah, man. So what's 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 the um what's the what's the plan for Mr. Silver right now, man? The future. What what what. Where, where do you see yourself, man? And what, what, do, you, what do you have in, oh, I mean... In my in mind, I, I, I want to achieve the goals where, you know, in my mind, where I've set mm-hmm. myself that, yo, Chelly, you for talk, yeah. if we be doing sold out concerts, et cetera, yeah. et cetera, mm-hmm. consistently, not to say I haven't done some, mm-hmm. but consistently, yo, continue to be dropping music and using mm-hmm. the music as a propeller to, to do other things, you know, mm. within my career in terms of like businesses, etc. I want to like, like, you know, expand myself more than just even on the music front, like I said, clothing front, mm. business front, even agriculture front, like different, different fronts, you know yeah. what I mean? I want to try yeah. to do things for like even back home, yeah. you know what I mean? And, and, and help, man, and see what I can do to impact in, like on the culture as well, of you know course. what I mean? Just of to course. be, I feel like, like I forget my flowers before I go see you to leave silver rest. I, don't, I feel like I deserve some flowers. Course, you know what I mean? Course, like I've put course. in work. You get You've me? Definitely put the work in. You, you know what I mean? So that's in, how yeah. I feel for the future. I want, yeah. I want to continue to grow and develop and and learn yeah. and achieve. Continue to. So achieve. are we to expect some um, new music for you from you this year? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. The music I, I always keep pushing, man. Regardless, yeah. you know what I mean. Just to keep, you know, finding the right places to help it expand it, get to where it is. Because it's yeah. not like before, like we have a lot of technologies where they help our music go further. So just mm-hmm. to tap into those kind of things and, yeah. and, and, and yeah, the music will always come. Like always I hope to come. drop a project. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and, and th- there's some more singles. I want to do a show. I ain't done a show in London for time. And a okay. lot of people have been saying, oh, shall we do a show? Yeah, yeah. And like uh, uh, Mr. Silver, ten years. Mr. Silver, like I've been doing it almost ten years plus. Wow! So I uh, for do some show, yeah, like some yeah. big show. Like I remember w- 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 what year did you we do? Did we do um when I used to do the Freestyle Fridays? I mean, that, that was uh, like two thousand eight. Yeah, two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Yeah, so so it's, 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 it's been, been a long time, been a man. Long time, it's man. been a long time. So yeah. I wouldn't do some kind of show like of I won't put a show out where put some demand them on there yeah, too. Yeah, push it. Trust me, like for like. Maybe for the ending summer day, but I won't put the show out early, push it out, sell it out, just do a mad show, like re- from it. back to front, all the tunes, so people go see the journey, yeah. see the, yeah. the whole thing, and then use that and, and elevate, because they need to be educated, and some don't know, and yeah. you know, so yeah, that, that's what I see still. Nice one, man. So Mr. Silver, man. Trust it's me. been it's been beautiful. It's been nice. Thanks for coming through, man. No, come on. I appreciate and, and, it each and, and every time. Yeah, and best of luck on your, with your music career, your fashion, anything you have on your mind to do. Best of luck with it. Yeah, man. man. Bless up. Bless one up. One love, bless man. Up, bless up. Bless up. Nice one. Come on. Sure.